More than 330 million years ago, the Hocking Hills State Park area was relatively level and was covered by the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. For millions of years, the ocean's currents deposited immense amounts of sand and gravel. After millions of years, the ocean receded, and the sandy layers bonded with silica to form the black hand sandstone that underlies the area. It formed like a sandwich, with a hard top and bottom and a soft middle layer. When the Appalachian Mountains arose, form and feature were cast upon the area and created Hocking Hills State Park. Hocking Hills State Park was hemmed in by the ancient north-flowing Taze River to the west, and the then north-flowing Hocking to the east. The landscape remained fairly static for millions of years. Any changes were minuscule, and were slow to develop. When the Wisconsin Glacier began melting back to the north about 10,000 years ago, the landscape would undergo dramatic changes. The glacier stopped in northern Hawking County, so the area suffered indescribable flooding. The ancient Taze River was buried under tons of glacial silt, and the direction of the Hawking River was reversed. When the glacial torrents found cracks in the hard capstone, the water poured through to flush out the soft middle layer. This left long tunnels where the gorges are today. Eventually, the weight of the tops caused them to come crashing down. The slump rocks in the gorges today are what's left of the hard top layer. In just a few centuries, the rushing waters of the glacier carved the soft middle layer of sandstone into the myriad dimples and wrinkles that decorate the cliffs and grottos today. Early settlers in Muskingum County found an ancient black human handprint on a cliff that is part of this same sandstone formation. That is the same, black hand sandstone, that is seen in six areas of the Hocking Hills State Park. The Adena culture is believed to be one of the first inhabitants of the area of Hocking Hills. In the 18th century, the Native American tribes of Delaware, Wyandotte, and Shawnee traveled through and lived in the area. In 1818, Hawking County was created in Ohio. A powder mill was built in the area in the 1830s and in 1840 Hawking Canal was completed, allowing for more settlers to travel there. After local popular hiking areas were threatened by the accessibility of more traffic, the state forest law was passed in 1915 allowing the state to purchase the first parcel of land in Hawking Hills around Old Man's Cave. Hawking Honor Camp Reforestation Hawking Hills iconic and unusual hemlock forest of Hawking Hills was extensively established by the Civilian Conservation Corp and Division of Forestry in the 1930s. Additional planting and reforestry work took place during the 1950s by prisoners from the Hawking Honor Camp. Inmates worked on tree planting, cleaning plantations and pruning more established plantations. The prisoners earned five cents per hour for their labor if they had dependents, otherwise they earned half a cent per hour for their hard work. This unique model of using inmates to provide social good is striking. According to the Logan Daily News, Hawking Honor inmates worked closely with the Hawking County area and the community, an idea that seems absurd today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos.